It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer called Bledlow Silence. It's an IPA from Unseen University Boathouse Brewery. It's part of the Discworld series of beers by Mr. Terry Pratchett. Now, this is the last beer that um, I had, or I'm going to review, that my wife got me for Christmas. Um, bit of a sad time, really. Um, Terry Pratchett passed away today. Uh, he had Alzheimer's. Um, they didn't say how he passed away. Uh, they didn't say, uh, or at this stage they've not said. They just said he's died in his home. But he was a campaigner for, um, you know, when his life fell out of his own hands, when, 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 he, when the Alzheimer's got too much. He was a campaigner for, he visited Switzerland a couple of times uh, to, you know, where they give you the lethal injection, where they, they kind of make that decision for you. The family members make that decision and, and, and him himself would have made that decision. So I, I wonder, uh, because they've, they've not really given that much detail into how he died, I wonder if um, he's kind of, he kind of made his own decision. He, he was kind of uh, ready and he was at that stage where um, quite literally, he was losing his mind. Um, but anyway, well, I'm not um, here to debate how or why or who or what or where or, you know, with his life. Um, I'm not, I, I suppose I'm standing here, uh, I, I should read his books. <laughs> I should read, he spent most of his life with the Discworld series of, of books. Um, I think it's a fabulous achievement. At his peak, he was writing two books a year. Uh, I think that's absolutely fascinating, and that's that's a lot of kind of self-driven motivation. Um, I think it's absolutely fantastic what he's achieved in life. So a little toast to Teddy Pratchett. Let's get his beer out. Bledlow Silence, one of his characters from his books. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Ah, this looks good. This looks very good. Now then. I believe this beer has been brewed at Brecon Brewing Company. Uh, up, in, up in Wales. Up in Brecon. They shifted production from one brewery to the next. And that, i got to be honest, is a complete step change from the beers that I've been reviewing in the past. That looks really good. That looks like an IPA. Nice levels of carbonation. Lovely golden coloured beer, as you would expect from an IPA. And a nice white one finger head. Let's get the aroma. Wow, and it's very floral. Loads of flowers in this beer. It's like walking through a garden of daisies, if there is such a thing, or a field of daisies. Pungent rose and, and, and lemon and rose buds. Wow, I like it. I like the aroma on this. I'm going to dive in. Cheers, everyone. Yeah, fair play, fair play, um, that is a complete step change, even in the flavour. A lovely, lovely biting bitterness from this beer. It's grapefruity, it's lemony, and of course it's still coming through with that kind of rosebud flavour. I'd like to know, comment in the comments box if you if you know the ingredients of this beer, if you know what they put in there, because it's very nice. It's a 5.5% beer, so it's pushing towards uh, big AV, ABV beers, you know, uh, kind of pushing the boundaries of a session beer. 
but it didn't drink like something which is 5.5% ABV. There's so much flavour in this beer. Super smooth, super crisp. And I, I, I think, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mem <laughs> speak now in a moment. I'm going to mention at this stage that uh, I was contacted by Ales by Mail. Um, the guys down there, I've known them for years now. Uh, met, I've met them at the certain beer festivals around the country and we've had a few beers and uh, they've sent us beers in the past, probably about four years ago now. Um, and they kind of said to me that they've moved operations, they've moved it from, I believe, Brentwood Brewing Company. Not that they were doing a bad job, uh, but it seems to have moved up to Brecon Brewing. And, well, to me, as a beer reviewer, like I can absolutely stand here and, and say with 100% of my beer reviewing knowledge that I think it was a great decision. I think this beer is so much better than the beers that I've had previously. I drank a porter that was flat as a pancake. Uh, we drank, we drank some other IPAs and pale ales, which which were just not good at all. Either over carbonated and kind of spraying everywhere. Um, it just wasn't right. It just wasn't right. But this, 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 this is serving the the books and Terry Pratchett and is now in his grave, uh, not quite in his grave. He will be soon, um, unless he's kind of going to a crematorium. Um, this is doing Terry Pratchett justice. Uh, this is doing his books, his disc wheel series, uh, and, and his family and his friends. He's doing the whole thing justice. So, well done. Well done for the decision making uh, by Ales by Mail and Breck and Brewing and everybody involved. Everybody involved. It's a big step change. I look forward. If you have a look at, well, look at that, we have a lovely looking black IPA. And another probably 10 beers now to get through from the Discworld series. So, a bit of a long review. I do apologise. Rating for Bledlow Silence. Great stuff. Lovely, pungent, grapefruity, lemon, biscuit malt, breadiness, and a lovely kind of rosebuddy flowery flavour going on. Love it. I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.